Hey, so in this video we're gonna talk about I believe one of the most important thing in Adobe Premiere Pro. It is a toolbar. Well, not that toolbar is the most important thing, but knowing all the possibilities of your software is really important. So that's why I decided to talk about toolbar. I will try to explain every tool, what it does, how to use it, and hopefully you will learn something from this video. So enough talking, let's jump to Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so here we have a toolbar. The first and most important tool is the selection tool. With this tool you can do everything. Select your videos, move around your timeline, your project bin, and basically everything you've done is done with this tool. The next tool is Track Select Forward tool. What this tool basically does is selects your video tracks from the selected part to the right. And I mean all of it. This tool really helps when you need to add something in between the clips. So you don't have to select everything with your mouse. Just take this tool, select everything in one click and drag it. Track Select Backward tool is totally the same as Track Select Forward tool. Just difference is that it selects everything to the left from the part you have chosen. By the way, this tool is the only one in the Premiere that comes by default with double key shortcut. The next tool is called Ripple Edit tool. With this tool you can simply adjust the length of your video clips and what it does simply do not leave any cut out parts in your timeline between video clips. To be honest I'm not really using this tool but hey it may be useful for some of you guys. Let's continue with Rolling Edit tool. This tool can increase or decrease your video length by not changing the total time of your project. In some cases it might be very useful especially when you don't need to drag a video again just by using this tool. The next one is one of my favorites, the Rate Stretch tool. What it does simply changes your video duration by increasing or decreasing your video speed. It does it automatically so it's very useful when you have to put a fasten clip in between two clips. Also you can use it for fast forward effect. The cut tool is probably the one that I use the most. What it does, simply makes a cut in your video. That's it, there is nothing more to explain. Slip tool, well, it's hard to explain, but this tool changes your video time by not changing its length on the timeline. Even I didn't understood what I just said, but look. Let's say you put a beginning of your video clip in the timeline, and just before you finish your project, you decided that you need the end of this specific clip in the timeline. So you choose this tool, slide it to the end without changing anything in your timeline. And here you have the end of your video clip. Slide tool is useful to adjust your video length, increase or reduce it without damaging your other clips. As you can see, other videos slide to the side by using this tool. Pen tool is used for adjusting keyframes in your video. As you can see I just added few of them and by increasing and decreasing it I adjust the opacity of the video. Hand tool is a great way to slide around your timeline. Using this hand you can be sure that you won't accidentally drag anything in your project. Also you can use this bar the same effect as the hand. And finally the zoom tool, it's perfect for zooming in the specific part of your project. Just select the part you want to zoom in and that's it. Also by clicking ALT and your left mouse key, this tool simply zooms out. So that would be it for today's video, leave your opinion down in the comments and as always, thanks for watching.